All right, all right, all right. We are here at the GSMC Sports Network to give you the best damn wrestling podcast in the sports entertainment industry. Here at the GSMC Sports Network, we give you guys a lot of love. We definitely love the way you guys send some chats. Love the way you guys give your wrestling, you know, future rumors and promos in terms of that. Also, remember to Superman punch that like and subscribe button to the show here at the GSMC Sports Network. We do love a lot of peace, love, and positivity, a thousand and ten percent. Sorry, of the time. I'm just going to reflect on what we talked about. We had our WWE NXT review. Then we talked about our AEW Dynamite preview. And now we're going to talk about Stone Cold Steve Austin, the Rattlesnake, coming to WrestleMania 41. So, yeah, that's going to do it. But obviously, before we get into that, you make sure you guys hit the, hit up that super chat. Hit up those super stickers because you guys are super awesome. Together, we can make the GSMC Wrestling Lawyer Podcast. We can make it great again. I'm just kidding. No, I'm just kidding. No, uh, you know, that was probably a, you know, I apologize for that. Yeah, I'm just kidding. Uh, it's kind of funny. But uh, overall, you know, definitely want to hear your guys' opinions. Want to hear your hot takes in terms of professional wrestling obviously we can't keep this show going without you guys so to keep the lights on and to keep this show that you guys love so damn much going and hit up that super chat box right under that uh that dollar sign and yeah if and if, uh the super chat thing isn't your you know isn't your thing we can also you know you can also hit up the tips and donations link at the gsmc podcast.net shoot me your comments questions and concerns make sure you're superman punch that like and subscribe button to the show also make sure you guys you know uh, just tell me how you feel you know there's no right or wrong answers inside the chat be silly be crazy uh you know this we're wrestling we're wrestling fans so you know i'm, I'm no judge I think it's like, you know, no judgment like ever. All right. So we're going to talk about some Stone Cold Steve Austin. I'm just kidding on no, that. You know, it was, a, it was actually a pretty kick-ass song, to be honest. I, you know, I love Stone Cold Steve Austin's theme song. Definitely one of my favorites. Because when you hear the glass shatter, you just know it's about to go down. Dude. It's about to go down. No, Stoko Steve Austin, obviously, you know, he was injured, his neck, he got injured by, uh, I think he, there was the botched pile driver by Owen Hart, uh, you know, I think that was the case, I could be wrong, don't quote me on that, but, you know, Stoko Steve Austin could have been a lot more popular, I feel like, he did definitely retire a little bit too young, but, uh, you know, hey, when, when it comes to your neck, obviously, nowadays, we do have that neck fusion surgery that you have, you know, you have Big E. You also have Kyle O'Reilly back in the mix. You see Bobby Roode training as well. So a lot of Super Edge came back. Dan Brian Danielson came back when they were both told that, hey, dude, sorry, you can never wrestle again. And all of a sudden, you get a call from your doctor. You're like, dude, you're medically clear. Like, I mean, like, it's like. What? That's crazy. But, you know, quite a turn of events there. Uh, so, you know, Stone Cold Steve Austin, and, you know, I definitely feel like he could have been more than he already was over the top in terms of being popular, in terms of WWF slash WWE. So, you know, now let's talk about Stone Cold Steve Austin coming to WrestleMania 41. Stone Cold Steve Austin. Austin, Tyson and Austin, Tyson and Austin, freaking Jim. Oh, I love Jim Ross. Jim Ross and, you know, Stone Cold Steve Austin was awesome. Uh, the main event of WrestleMania 40 with John Cena and The Undertaker, there were speculations, you know, they kind of helped Cody Rhodes out. And there were speculations that it, it was supposed to be Stone Cold Steve Austin. Um, obviously, once when uh, Austin was asked about helping Cody Rhodes. He was like, you know what? Like, I'll, I'll help Cody Rhodes again. Like, why not? Like, let's let, let, let's do it. If you need some backup, um, you know, it, it's kind of crazy. Stone Cold Steve Austin told, um, you know, Adrian Hernandez in an interview, um, he said, and I quote, it was close, basically close him coming to uh, Philadelphia to WrestleMania. Uh, they certainly reached out to me. But my wife and I had some things going on. I didn't really have a chance to go to Philly. But uh, basically, but, you know, if it being in Vegas, I hope, uh, you know, it'll be this year. Stone Cold Steve Austin, quote unquote, never says no to Vegas. Why not? Because he's, you know, he's a huge superstar. You know, everybody knows him. He's been in, you know, he's been in movies. I remember watching him in The Longest Starred in, uh, you know, that football movie with, a re it was a remake. With Adam Sandler, and it was, you know, Stone Cold Steve Austin. He was great. I feel like he was great inside of it. 
He had the Condemned. He was also in the Condemned as well. Hernandez mentioned Cody Rhodes and uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin had this to say, and I quote, he said, if he needs another hand, I'll be there. You know, kind of like what I was alluding to a little earlier that, you know, he, I feel like he ultimately, you know, was at first supposed to be there for, for Cody Rhodes. You had Stone Cold Steve Austin and The Rock feud a lot back in, you know, in WWF in the 90s. That would have been huge. I feel like that would have been more of a spot than The Undertaker. But then you saw The Undertaker come because obviously I feel like they couldn't find a deal. They couldn't find a way to get Stone Cold Steve Austin. Maybe he was dealing with some personal issues. Uh, but uh, ultimately seeing Stone Cold Steve Austin return to the ring would have been, you know, it would have been impactful. But you can't even you can't even downplay that because, you know, with The Undertaker and John Cena helping uh, the WWE Undisputed Champion Cody Rhodes win that belt at WrestleMania 40, you can't really be mad at the outcome because it was beautiful. It was great. It was riveting. It was goosebumps. Goosebumps on the back of my hands, to the back of my neck. It was absolutely amazing. Some of the best wrestling storytelling I have ever seen in my whole entire uh, life as a wrestling fan. And that's exactly what they're doing today with the with the with the bloodline, with the bloodline a thousand and ten percent. Uh, you know, they interviewed Paul Heyman and he said, honestly, this bloodline storyline is only in the third inning. A lot of people are like, what? That's crazy. I don't see how having this bloodline storyline stretched out could be beneficial for anybody on the main roster that you know are members of the bloodline. So Sokoa, Jacob Fatu, Roman Reigns, Jamie and Jay Uso, maybe Zila Fatu, maybe Hikaleo. Perhaps, uh, you know, uh, Tamatanga and Togaloa, you know, just uh, um, they're right now professional wrestling is kind of in a renaissance. You know, it's, it's kind of setting this new standard of professional wrestling and needing this kind of form of cinema. And it's absolutely, you know, to the credit of um, Dwayne The Rock Johnson. The way the Rock Johnson holds chairman position inside TKO Holdings, obviously, in partnerships of the UFC. So then, obviously, with a lot of hot old Hollywood background, you'd be like, you know what? I, you know, I, I, I've kind of studied movies a little bit, like not the brag, but I've studied movies a little bit. I know how to get the fans hooked. I know how to kind of get them, you know, grilling and waiting and fighting for more. So, um, thousand ten percent. Next, we see CM Punk also is open with the match with Stone Cold Steve Austin. I maybe, I, I honestly think maybe. Uh, ever since the two had a badass promo backstage on Monday Night Raw back in 2011, people have had this Stone Cold Steve Austin taking on CM Punk match as a dream match. And, you know, I could definitely a thousand ten percent see it. Obviously, anywhere you put Stone Cold Steve Austin, it's going to be a banger. Um, but with CM Punk... You know, with this whole thing with Drew McIntyre, you know, it seems like it's kind of dragging on a little bit. I can't wait to see the way they kind of end it. I can't wait to see they, the way they end it. I feel like ultimately it'll be beneficial for the for both the superstars. I want to see Drew uh, McIntyre go after Gunther. I do. I feel like he can ultimately dethrone Gunther for that WWE World Heavyweight Championship. And then you have CM Punk kind of go off and do his own thing. He has a feud with Seth. He has a feud with a couple of burdens that he's had in the past. Obviously, kind of being that bad boy, kind of being that against authority, you know, kind of showing that middle finger right there to Vince McMahon. CM Punk was kind of like the new days, you know, kind of Stone Cold Steve Austin. Obviously, it wasn't portrayed in terms of, uh, you know, uh, you know, storylines and choreography in terms of, you know, when he was doing his thing back in 2011. But, um, you know, it... it, it, it you know, Stone Cold Steve Austin and CM Punk, they sat down. They sat down. They had an interview when CM Punk was absolutely fed up with the WWE. CM Punk, you know, had, you know, talking about Ryback, talking about, you know, Triple H saying, you know, okay, cool. Vince McMahon's doofus son-in-law gets to take over. You know, it's, you know, that's just CM Punk. That's just CM Punk a thousand and ten percent. And CM Punk is a superstar. You do not want to see walk out your door because look at what happened to AEW. Look at that. Look at what happened with uh, WWE when he came back. All this showing signs that, you know, CM Punk and Stone Cold Steve Austin could very much be kind of on the same level of popularity in terms of, you know, professional wrestling and stuff like that. So definitely thought that was, uh, you know, super cool. CM Punk, um, um, definitely he said it's been on his dream list as well. 
Uh, the rattlesnake, the rattlesnake admitted earlier that a CM Punk would be a great option should he return to professional wrestling one more match. And uh, you know, CM Punk had this to say, and I quote: "He said it's up to Steven. It's up to Steven, but he works to go. You know, uh, but if he wants, sorry, if he wants to go to sleep, he'll he can call me. Like you know, just just trash talking. You know, kind of crazy." Let, it'll go ahead and leave me a chat if you think CM Punk will take on Stone Cold Steve Austin uh, at WrestleMania 41. I think a thousand and ten percent it could be, you know, it could be very much likely. You know, both, it seems like both the superstars are on board to work with each other. I think the last time Stone Cold Steve Austin fought within a WWE ring, I think it was against Kevin Owens. I think it was maybe. I think it was. It was supposed to be against Kevin. I'm not too sure. But um, Stone Cold Steve Austin, definitely one of those talents that got injured. Definitely could have been bigger and better uh, if, it, you know, if, if he never would have had that neck uh, injury. He essentially had to call it quits. He was done. He like, you know what? I, I don't want to get paralyzed. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's it's a real thing. It's a real thing. So, I'm, you know, obviously waiting on pins and needles to find out if we get more information about CM Punk taking on Stone Cold Steve Austin at WrestleMania 41. So, you know, definitely, you know, make sure you stay tuned to the GSMC Wrestling Lawyer Podcast to find about, you know, more information in terms of that. All right. So our fourth segment, we're going to go ahead and talk about some Triple Mania XXX. Uh, Latin America has had three events over the span of the year. The recent one that took place was August 17th, where you saw, you know, it was pretty, it was, it was really big. It was really big in Mexico City. We're going to talk about that uh, as soon as we come back. So, hey, do not go anywhere. 